The Marina Basin and Resort Hotel condo development at the Port of Rochester have already had plenty of problems and controversy, and they will probably continue. When the city rolled out the project to the community at each of two public meetings held last May, it was met with the attendance of 400 and 600 citizens expressing their opposition. Since those meetings, over 2,700 residents have voiced their opposition to the project via a petition to City Council. This fall, Pike Construction pulled out of the project because they and the city could not agree on site issues. As a result of this action, Bill Brown, a local systems analyst, began a research for why a good company like Pike Construction walked away from the multi-million dollar project. The city and Pike were silent. Bill, in November 2014, presented a detailed geology lecture about the Genesee River and what he believes are the issues, the lack of bedrock, a contaminated soil problem, and too high of a water table. In early January, at a bidders conference for the remaining work on the project, again the city, LaBella, and Edgewater were asked if water problems was the issue. Again, dead silence from the staff there. March 1st of 2015, the Democrat Chronicle breaks the news that Bill's description of the issues were correct. What is worse, the city holds fast on their specifications on how the marina basin must be built. On May 21st, 2015, Bill will offer a presentation explaining exactly why the plan to build four 10-story structures on the site is just not a cost-effective venture, and it actually could be dangerous. He states, it is not about the politics of the plan. It is about the risk associated with building structures on the side of a gorge with bedrock as deep as 116 feet. Brown goes on to say that the O'Rourke Bridge engineers made a big mistake in estimating the slope of the west side of the river gorge by 20 degrees. That mistake increased construction costs by $40 million. Bill has hoped Mark Greger, the city engineer, will re-examine the city's own research and finally develop a respect for the present risk at the site. Come and hear exactly why this project needs to be redesigned, why 10-story buildings should not be built on the site. Learn about the geology, learn about the risk, and better understand the cost to you to the taxpayer. The marine project was projected cost $20 million but in reality it is already closer to 30 million without fixing the problems with the basin opening to the river. The presentation will be on Thursday, May 21st, 2015 at 7 p.m. at the Robach Center on Beach Avenue in Shalott. The Port of Rochester in Shalott has provided opportunity for all of Monroe County to enjoy the lake and many entertainment events. Take the time to understand the impact this city project can have on the port in your hard-earned dollars.